Hi, and welcome to a bite-sized tutorial. Cooldowns in games are a great way to limit the number of bullets you can fire or the magic you can cast. The idea is that after firing a bullet, you have to wait a given amount of time before being able to shoot again. And this is our starting point today. Whenever I click my left mouse button, the character fires a bullet. Since there's no cooldown, I can shoot as many bullets as I like. So let's take care of that. Create a new script called cooldown and open it up to write some code. Let's clean this up first. The script doesn't have to derive from mono behavior, so let's remove it here. Remove the start and the update methods. Right above public class cooldown, type system.serializable within brackets. Let's now add some variables. Start with a private variable of type float called cooldown time, and let's serialize the field. Next, add a private variable of type float called next fire time. Now, to check if the game object is cooling down, we can type public bool is cooling down, and with an arrow function, return time.time .time is less than next fire time. Let's also create a method called start cooldown that simply sets next fire time to time.time .time plus cooldown time. And that's actually all we have to do with this script. Now, using this script should be pretty straightforward and simple regardless of the type of game you're making. I will be using this cooldown method on a really simple weapon script. First, we need a new variable, so let's type serialize field within brackets, followed by cooldown, and just call it cooldown. I'm firing the bullet in this onAction method, so before doing anything else, I will check if cooldown is cooling down, and then return. And when the weapon is no longer cooling down, I'll instantiate the bullet and start a new cooldown by typing cooldown.startcooldown. If you're not using the new input system in Unity, you could do something like this. You would probably shoot with your left mouse button, so if input.get mouse button down and zero within parentheses, instantiate bullet. But before we can shoot, we have to make sure that there's no active cooldown, so let's type if cooldown dot is cooling down, then return. And once we're allowed to shoot again, we can instantiate the bullet and type cooldown dot start cooldown. Back in Unity, I will find my weapon object in the hierarchy and set my cooldown value. I'll set it to 2, meaning I have to wait for 2 seconds before I can fire again. And that is it! Every time I fire a bullet, I have to wait for 2 seconds before I can fire the next one. If you have any feedback or requests, let me know down in the comment section and I'll try my best to help you. The code is available on my GitHub page with a link down in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one!